And so couples go into one of two positions often, which is um, I need you to want me sexually for me to feel good about me. So I'm going to pressure you to want me. And it is a desire for sex, but it's also a desire for sexual validation. Yeah. So it's it into this pressuring frame. And the other person often is like, I don't want to just have to manage your sense of self through sex. So being sexual feels like a way of losing yourself. And so you kind of resist sexuality as a way of holding on to your sense of your own autonomy. So that's that's one piece of it. And I think then another piece is that if you're going to really be honest in a marriage, it's going to stress you out a little bit because you have to tolerate a lot of difference that your partner isn't just there to reinforce you, that they have their own thoughts and desires and feelings that invalidate many of yours or challenge many of yours. And in couples that are growing and alive, they kind of stay in that conflict honestly that they understand that conflict not hostility and contempt but honest conflict is a kind of refining process because then you create a marriage where two people can really be themselves and be with each other but what we often do is in the face of that conflict one person tends to dominate and one tends to kind of submit as a way of minimizing the overt conflict but then it becomes too dependent of a system. And so the more dependent you are psychologically on your partner to manage your sense of self, the more that desire will kind of crush under the weight of that.